stating is idle. This means that we don't have neighbor sheep because we didn't configure the R2. Okay, because of that, every time you configure some commands in BGP, you should you can see the result of that command in Swipe with neighbors. But that isn't mean that that isn't mean that we have neighbor sheep. You should check the state. The state is idle, and this means that we have no neighbor sheep. Or maybe you use other command show IPGP summary. Look at here. In show IPGP summary, that is the summary of BGP, we can see we have one neighbor, neighbor 10122. Okay. V4 V means version, version 4. You know that we are using now in, in the word BGP version 4. And the remote is 65001. And also, you can see the state is idle, okay? Because of that, we have a difference between BGP and EIGRP and OSPF. When you're configuring EIGRP on one side and not on the other side, and using, for example, show IP EIGRP neighbors, you can't see any result because we don't have neighborship, EIGRP neighborship. But BGP is most modern protocol. In BGP, when you are configuring a command, because of that command, you can see the result in the show IP BGP summary and show IP BGP neighbors. But the state is important. The state now is idle. And this means that we don't have configuration. We don't have neighborship. Only we have configuration in one side. Okay? This is so important. Let's continue in R2. In R2, I use this command rotor BGP 65002. Okay, neighbor. Okay, I did a mistake. Rotor BGP 65002. I want to correct it using rotor BGP. It's good. Rotor BGP 65001. Look, look at here. T65001. Enter it. It gives me a message, a, an error message. BGP is always is re already running. AS is 65002. This means that in one rotor, we can only enable one BGP, not two or three. Okay. Because of that, if I configured before rotor BGP 65002, now I can't configuring, I can configure rotor BGP 65001. If I want to configure it first, I should remove the previous command. I should, I remove it. No rotor BGP 65002. This is these are details of BGP. No rotor BGP 65002 and then rotor BGP 65001. Now neighbor command. Neighbor 10121. Remote AS. 65000. Look at here. Rotor BGP 65001. This is the local AS number. And then neighbor 10121. This is the IP address of the R1. Remote AS 65000. And now I can enter it. Look at capture. In capture, we should wait some second because BGP does not send immediately because BGP is, is a, a scalable protocol. Look at here. In B, here, we have a, 10, a TCP synchronized from 10122 to 10121 and then receiving 10, from 10121, 10, this is the R1 to, 10, to, T, to, 10, to R2, TCP synchronized ACK message. And again, from R2 to R1, 10.122 to 10.121, a ACK message. Now we have a complete TCP session. After TCP session, R2 sends open messages and R1 gives to R2 a confirm ACK message. And then R1 sends open message to R2 and R2 and after that, R2 give acknowledge to the R1 and after that keep alive message and maybe other message can be sent and received between two rotors or update message we will talk about that because of that you saw the process of neighborship first TCP session should be established and after that BGP can be negotiate with open message some parameters we will talk about that but finally the neighborship will be up look at here r1 now has neighborship with r2 
and also R2 has neighborship with R1. It's good. Let's check again show IP BGP neighbors. In show IP BGP neighbors, you can see that BGP neighbor is 10.122, remote AS is 65001, and this is external, means eBGP. We have we are using BGP version 4, the only version that we can use, and remote router ID. I will talk about remote router ID. First, BGP state. BGP state now is in established state, and BGP is up for 1 minute 36 seconds. Okay? We can understand these informations. Very good. But as you can see, in show IP BGP neighbors, we have many, many configuration, many, many result. Look at here. About three to four pages, only for one neighbor. If you have two neighbor or three neighbor, you maybe see 10 or maybe more pages. Because of that, almost in all cases, we use another command for checking the neighborship. That is the show IP BGP summary. Show IP BGP summary is a command that shows us a summary of BGP that is running in this router. And one part of that summary is neighborship here. It's better to use this command for seeing general or summary of BGP. If you don't need details of the neighborship, it's better to use this command. But if you want to see detail of BGP, use show IP BGP neighbors. Look at here. Here we have 10122 as a neighbor with version 4 with AS65001. Seven message is received from the R2 and six messages are sent to R2. And now for two minute and 30, 42 second the neighborship is in upper state and the estate you can't see any number any value in the estate because we have only prefix receive zero in the I, wa I want to talk about this in the future videos about the state but for now I want to mention that if you didn't see if you don't see any value in the state and you see a number, for example, 0, 1, 2 in the prefix received column, means the state is established. Now the state, okay, is established. In the show IP BGP neighbors, it explicitly shows us that the BGP state is established. Okay, why? In the show IP BGP summary, we can't see a established why? Because when you see a number in prefix received, this means that the neighborship is in established state and because of that, the number of prefixes received from the neighbor is zero. If you don't have neighborship and, with, and you don't have established state, you can't receive any prefix from the neighbor. Because of that, you can't see a number in this column only a state is appear look at here before the neighborship when i check the show IPG summary we saw that ideal for a state and no number in prefix received when the prefix received has a number this means that a state is established and we can receive a, we can receive some prefix from the neighbor I, I will talk about a state in the future videos. Very good. Let's continue. Now, we have a 